Welcome back to another podcast where we're learning about history. Today we're learning about episode 2 and we're learning about... Uh, what made Columbus, de Gama, what made Magellan, it? Cortez, Pizarro, and Vespucci historically noteworthy. And again, welcome back to another pod-cats where we learn about history. Our first topic for today were how were these main explorers? Hello? What? Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Nobody talked. <laughs> All I heard okay. was, how, how are these how, explorers... How were... Yeah, how were these explorers noteworthy? Okay. How are they noteworthy? Um, I mean, they found... Or they... F- they kind of... Yeah, they found... Yeah, they kind of found... And um, developed... A new world? Like, they helped develop a lot of new areas as the new world and such. Like... Or at least the way it is. Like, things probably would have started developing eventually. Or I don't know if they would have. But... I mean... Uh, Like... You can go. A lot of these people in history, like Columbus is really known for like finding the new world, even though he's really not. And a lot of people found out before him. Uh, I think it uh I was well, wasn't it like the port Portuguese or the port or Well there's like proof. they found it first. There's proof of a lot of people finding it before like i think there was a a chinese um group chinese that emperor had found it first like yeah oh, the chinese uh, emperor that army had found it first or at least they found a boat there um but there's no real proof of that but other than the boat of course but i think there was a lot of different people finding it before but I think they had found it, and they're like, okay, this is just a new area. There's nothing special. It was that the English were kind of like, like it was like they found a whole new thing that before was proven to not be there. Like, because they thought they could just go over to Asia. Or were they trying to go to India? Oh, by going that's away? so big. Be- a new spice route and for the yeah. boats like a faster faster route instead of land and they were trying to cut out that middle man so they basically make more money on the spices mm-hmm. and they believed that they could sail right like to Asia but then they found this whole new area that we call the Americas today which technically they didn't discover but yeah, technically, yeah. They, they did not discover it, but... Okay, um, what was the Colum... Or, do you guys have anything else to say about it? I probably should have asked that before. So uh, I kind of said mean, like, everything... Yeah. That, um... Uh, uh, Zeke? And, I, I feel like Magellan did the most out of them, even though... He died midway through his voyage, but I think he did the most because he sailed all the way around, and he actually found a route to the Asians. Mm-hmm. Actually accomplished the mission. Even though he died halfway through. And then, then I think one of his crew members took over his like exploration. Which is kind of sad that we don't know that guy's name either. Or we might, <laughs> but we don't. Per se. Yeah, like, Magellan is the celebrated one, and the yeah. secondary ca- 
one in command isn't really known. Mm -hmm. Especially since um, the other guy likely did more. Yeah. Which can be debated, but. Okay, um. Secondary topic. What was the Colombian exchange and how did it impact both the new and old world? Yeah, so the Colombian exchange was during time when new people were going to the Americas and they started bringing products to and from the Ameri new Americas back to Europe. And the, the, the Colombian exchange is really just the process of like goods back and forth, yeah. Well, the the Colombian exchange was also, er, was the Colombian exchange the triangle trade, or was it something different? Oh, the Colombian exchange was of trading from the new world, from the old world. Sailors would bring disease back. Gold, if that makes sense. The triangle trade was later. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> so the Colombian exchange was just from, like, Europe and stuff mm. to the New World? So yeah. I think it was, like, Europe and to Africa, where they got all the slaves. And then to, to the, new, like, New World? That's the that's the, that's uh, the triangle trade. That was later. Triangle trade. Yeah, yeah. That, that never. Um. Basically, basically, what happened was we brought bad stuff in. and like, then they the contracted. Yeah. But it kind of went both ways too. Um, we kind of brought some in. We we're. Or they were given some as well. Yeah. Though we um, did have more of an impact on them. Some of the stuff that we brought to Europe was um, grapes, livestock like cattle, sheep, pig, and horse. Um, so now, I'm going to go through a list of diseases we brought to the New World that really killed about like... Almost other, like... Every, yeah. Yeah. Entire like generation. Okay. Smallpox, influenza, typhus, malaria, dysphoria, whooping cough, and whooping cough. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Like really big diseases, mm -hmm. and like at that time we were kind of used to them, but when we brought them to the natives, they just didn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, when we went to the New World to like, explore, we found tobacco, pumpkin, turkey, squash, uh, pineapple, cocoa bean, uh, you know, potatoes, tomatoes. Which, when you think of Italy using the tomatoes, but find Italy? tomatoes until you think it. You think of uh, potatoes whenever you think of Italy, like tomato sauce, you know, or... like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's pizza. But yeah. most people think that like I even thought that potatoes were from like the old world that was brought to the he new said world. Potatoes or tomatoes? He yeah, said potatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. Oh wait, I heard I heard potatoes. <laughs> said tomatoes. I heard potatoes. Tomato tomato. Tomatoes. Tomato okay. to Padano. So, <laughs> Same thing. So tomato as in today? Yes. Okay. S okay, we kind of got off topic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So what else do we have on this? Oh yeah. What was the Colombian change and how did it impact both the new and we already did that one. That was the one we were just talking about. We can, we can, we can extend <laughs> how it. Did, how, did, how did it like impact the new and old world? Well, I think it impacted the the new world because, well, how Zeke and you said it, how like 
how we bring over stuff, then they like did not know what to do with it. Yeah. I mean, I think it also impacted the old world a lot because um like Zeke was saying, whenever we think of like European countries, we think of things that were actually like began in the new world. Like Ireland and the potatoes. Those were from the New World. Um, like Zeke or were put, were tomatoes from the New World? Tomatoes were tomatoes. from the old world. Oh they were from the old Both world. Both potatoes and tomatoes were from the old world. No, from the new world. Okay, okay. So like Ireland like I said, p- potatoes as in uh P. Yeah, P. <laughs> um <laughs> And then tomatoes, as in today, were from were the old world. The new, yeah. What? Or or the new world? Yeah. New, yeah. Yeah. So, like most of the thing, or a lot of things that you think of in Europe, like at least from those, like I don't know where I'm really going with this. Think like Europeans. But really, they didn't really adapt, like, come to the stuff later on, because they didn't have it. I feel like the same stuff can go either way. Yeah, it kind of went both ways. Natives, mm-hmm. You think of natives and stuff in India, so you think of horses in the old New World. And horses came from the Old World, and there's the natives kind of, like, bonded with them. Yeah. You're right, you're right. In, <laughs> like, Indians and horses, you know, they just kind of, like... Preach, Zeke. Became Come best on. friends. Preach. And then... Yeah. And then... Yeah. I was actually kinda... really surprised whenever I was told that horses were from the old world. Same here. Because <laughs> I thought, like, like how, like native like Americans like found them like mm-hmm. like I think it might be just to the east side like horses to the east were from the old world because there had to be horses already because there's records of like natives using horses in the middle west and middle east of the of the North America. Isn't there? Like, before? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> it just... It's, I hard, it's believe hard to comprehend so. that horses came from the old world. I mean, they could have no. been there, like, already, like what you said. Or Thanks. they could have not yeah. been there. Zeke, do you have anything else to say? I think we basically covered everything in this episode. And that is... We're reaching 14 minutes. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap up this... This episode of Podcasts. Um, you guys have anything else to say before we run our... Outro. Really? Huh? No. Is that? Do you? That's a no. Okay. No, I, I don't know anything yet. Basically, covered everything. Yeah, we we covered everything. Wait, did we cover our? Uh, wait. Do you mean everything? Everything? Yeah, everything on the topic. Okay, okay, yeah. Yeah? I think we're gonna end it here.